Are you dissatisfied with your Windows PC experience? Maybe you don't like the new Windows 11 update. Maybe you don't like the toolbar or dock at the bottom. Or maybe it's just too complicated and you like something simpler. Well, I've got a solution for you. Like I was saying, if you're experiencing those problems and want something better, I have a solution and that is OneLaunch. OneLaunch actually sponsored this video and they are a free software you can get on your PC. I'll show you how. But what it does and what it is, it is basically a toolbar or dock that goes on your screen and allows you to access your favorite apps and tools just with a couple clicks. It has an easy to access browser, search bar, um, has built in apps and tools that you can use. And we'll look at all that in a second. And here is their website. It is very well made. And they go over all their features and the things you can do with it. So it's easy to download. You just click this right here and it will guide you through the steps. And like I said, it's free, doesn't cost money, no free trials, no subscriptions, no ads in the app. To open it up, it will likely have put a shortcut on your desktop right here, one launch. Just double click that. And if it's not there, just go to the search down here and you can search for it or go to this Windows menu and go to all apps. And so when you open it up, it will open up the free built-in Chromium browser. So that's nice. They have a nice, easy to access browser built into it. And like I said, it's Chromium, so you can get all your Chrome extensions. And it's very related to Chrome and Microsoft Edge. We're going to X out of that for now. And as you can see, here it is. This is the design of it. There's various features over here. We'll go over a search bar. And over here, we have some more features as well. So this is the browser. Just one easy click, and it loads very fast. That's very cool. But like I said, Chromium browser, you can get Chrome extensions, etc. Let's check out the dashboard now. One click and we get access to all kinds of information and shortcuts and news. So as you can see, here's some popular websites that a lot of people visit. And it's nice. You can just give one click and it opens up in your browser. So you don't even have to open a browser first. Just like a shortcut. It's very nice. Now you have the weather, just some basic information, the temperature, what it is outside, and you get the picture. There's the time, of course, and date, sunrise, sunset. Those are handy information. And, of course, you can edit the location, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Over here, you can add bookmarks by pushing this plus, add bookmark, and this is for websites. And you can push that again and add a folder. You can push the name of the folder and, and organize your um, bookmarks. Now, we also have the news, and you can put what kind of news you're wanting, like sports, entertainment, and you get the picture. You just click through these arrows to access them and obviously you click on one and it opens up in your browser if you want to check it out. Another thing to note is that this software has a built-in search bar as you can see right here. It's pretty straightforward and simple. It's not as complicated or as feature heavy as the Windows one but this is for searching on the web. We'll test it out. We'll put in tech particle. As you can see it comes up with suggestions just like a normal search bar in your browser would do. As you can see here it is and this is their browser, built-in browser with one launch. And like I was saying earlier, there's easy access to apps and games. Just go over to this plus and you can add all your favorites such as games, weather, a calculator is nice, B test. You get the picture. There's a lot of different things you can add, wallpapers, tracking information of your packages. And as you see, when you click on all these, they add it to the toolbar. So that's easy access to these apps. As you can see, there's websites you can also add if you wanted. You can do email. You can do watching like YouTube and stuff like that. And there's games. Now, some of these are websites. Some of these are actual apps. Let's just check out a few. Here's wallpapers. And as you can see, there's all these nice wallpapers that you can use. And just a simple click will make it your desktop background. That's pretty awesome. You don't have to go into settings and change uh, wallpaper and stuff. Very cool how simple that is. All right, let's try out some others. Here's weather. And it gives you even more information than the dashboard did. Very nice how it gives you all these statistics. Here's a nice calculator with various tools. You can do currency conversion, unit conversion, calculate loans, miscellaneous calculators, your BMI, personal finances. So there's various tools available. Now, when you click on some of these, they may take you to a website. Not all of them are built into this app. That might be something that would be nice to add in the future. Here's a speed test. You can check your speed very easily. And if you want to get rid of those icons, you can just go back to this plus and manage apps and you can unselect the ones you don't want there anymore to easily simplify your toolbar. You don't have to do control clicking or anything. One thing I would like to see from this though is to be able to access the app straight away from here, like double clicking. 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's more tools over to the side over here. You can access weather. It says it's 76, and it takes you to AccuWeather's website. It's a little different before with the weather we saw over here and in the dashboard. This actually takes you to a website. I'm not sure why. I'd rather it be an app myself, but obviously you don't have to click on it, though, and you can use the other ones. Now, there's also an easy access screenshot tool. This is really nice. I use screenshots and video recording quite often, so having easy access to screenshots is a great thing to have you can draw a square or you can do free form you can capture the window or you can have it copied to clipboard and that leads us into the clipboard actually there's a clipboard tool right here and you, and you can access quite a bit of your clipboard history and i think and that's great i wish that was a standard easy access feature on all computers but that is pretty cool you can access your clipboard history just with that click of a button you can even search it now there's mic and cam privacy. It's great that it does provide you with this. So you can turn off access to mic and camera when you don't want apps using it. So if you're wanting to use Zoom, you can just turn it on. When you're done, you can just turn it off. So that's a nice thing. Now another feature is media control. So if there's something plain like this video I made, you can click up here and you can pause or skip it. So if it's running in the background or something and you have another window over it, it's easy access to those controls. You can skip music, for example, if you're in your browser and you want to change the song in your music app, etc. So that's nice. They have these easy access media controls. We've gone over most of the features, but there's just a few other things we can check out. There's three dots up here. You can choose what to show and hide. You can get rid of any tools you don't want in the right top corner. Now you can look at about and there's an easy way to check out their privacy policy, see what version you have, even uninstall it and if you wish to do so. Going back there we can access settings and there's some good things you can do on here like launch on startup, launch on system wake and you can manage your location, temperature units and as you can see you can change the search bar alignment, put it over to the left, makes it look more like the Windows 10 experience or you can put it back in the center and you can even change the theme of one launch. You can have it be automatic or you can have it be dark mode or light. There's even a Windows 10 look. So that's nice. You can change the look of this software, make it easier to see or make it easier on your eyes at night. So if you wish to close the software for whatever reason, all you have to do is click up here, those three dots, push close dock and it's off. Your PC's back to normal. And if you want it open it again, and you can just push the shortcut or search for it or go to start menu, like I said earlier. Anyway, just a few final notes. One launch is a great free software for your Windows PC. It may make it simpler and easier for it to use. It's not for everybody, but it may make your experience better. It provides you with easy and simple access to tools and features and apps, websites, etc. Maybe easier for some of you than having to go to start menu and looking for tools or even needing to download tools. It's nice that One Launch has various tools and apps built in so you don't have to go searching for some of your own. Like I said, it's easy to access these various tools and features, just a few clicks or a couple or one click at times, and it runs pretty good. It has a feature I'd like standard on my computer, the clipboard. That's a great thing I think they have. So basically, it may not be for everybody, but it may help some of you to have a simpler and easier computer experience. Obviously, there's still maybe some tools that you'll need on your computer elsewhere, or you may need to download some. But for a lot of you, it probably provides you with the necessities like weather, calculators, and browsers, news, stuff like that. So I would recommend the software. It's great. Just one thing to note, I would recommend going to your browser and installing an ad blocker. I've made a video about that. You can check out a link in the description. I would recommend installing that. Some of these websites it takes you to have ads on them, and you don't want a more cluttered experience so that would make the experience even better. Great software may make using your computer simpler and easier to use for some of you. It provides you with all kinds of tools, features, and apps, websites to provide you with a quick, hopefully easier experience. I would recommend it. Thank you One Launch for sponsoring this video. Thank you for your software. Great if you consider some of my suggestions and anyway guys I hope you found this video helpful. Hope this software helps you have an easier simpler experience. Please leave a like you found this video helpful comment any questions and subscribe for more content like this share with your friends to improve their experience with their computer and thank you guys for watching goodbye